Welcome to How It Works, a video series from Law Sites and Law Next, in which you get to see hands-on demonstrations of legal tech products directly from the developer. In today's episode, we'll get an overview of LawPay, the online payments solution developed specifically for legal professionals. Joining me today to tell us about it and show us how it works is Rachel Sabotic, Customer Success Manager at LawPay. Rachel, thanks for uh, joining us. Tell us a little bit about LawPay. Yeah, thanks so much for having me today. So as you mentioned, LawPay is an online payment provider for legal professionals. Um, we really understand the legal market and the needs of attorneys. Um, with that, I'll also say that we understand trust compliance. So we understand that those type of accounts need to be handled with delicate gloves when it comes to any sort of fees or payments going into trust accounts. So we're trusted by all 50 state bars and numerous bar associations. But but our goal is to make it easy for legal professionals to get paid um, and give you some of the time back in your day um, and take that away from billing and collections so that you can focus on what you're meant to do, which is legal work. Well, thanks for that introduction. Why don't you jump in and show us how it works? Okay, so here you're looking at the dashboard section. This section is simply an overview of payment activity. So as your firm continues to take payments, you will see the graphs and charts in this section change to reflect your payment activity. Next, we're gonna jump into the charge section. So charge is one of the many places in LawPay that you can take a payment. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through how, let's say a client calls the firm and wants to give them their card information over the phone, how a staff member at the firm can log into LawPay and accept a payment. After clicking accept payment, the firm will see a screen like this, and I'm just gonna run through a quick test transaction for you. I do want to point out that this invoice number field can be renamed to something else like client name, matter number, um, whatever works for the firm, we can customize this page to make it as specific to the business as possible. Now here I'm running through a $1,000 test transaction and the firm has three different ways by which clients can pay. They have the ability to accept cards as well as e-checks. E-checks allow the client to pay with a bank account and routing number. And then the last tab here is called Pay Later. So Pay Later is a client credit feature which allows the client, maybe if they don't have the means to cover the cost of that service up front with a card or cash from their bank account, they can apply for client credit, which is a lending solution for our legal professionals. And although you see this exclamation point when the firm is logged in in a moment, I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the client perspective. Um, but there are three different methods by which the firm can get paid through law pay. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in the test client's information. And here in this email box, if your client wanted an email receipt, you could enter their email and send that to them. But my client does not need one today, so I'm just going to skip over that box and go ahead and click Submit Payment. Right after processing the payment, we can see a request for signature here. And then the firm will be able to see a payment receipt for this transaction. Now, of course, the firm can print this directly from this screen, but I'll show you in a little while where you can get a copy of that receipt. All right, and that's one of the ways that a firm can easily accept a payment. Now, Again, one of our goals is to help give the firm time back in their day. So one of the ways they can do that is actually by sending this payment page to their client. When the firm goes to Actions, Show and Copy Page Link, they're presented with a unique URL for their firm. They can copy this link, put it on their website, in an email, really anywhere convenient for their client to go and click on this link. 
And let me show you what that would look like from the client perspective. So here's an example of the payment link for the firm. Now, what you'll notice is this is the exact same as what we just saw when we were logged in as the law firm, which really makes it a very easy client experience because if your client calls you for help saying, hey, what should I be filling out in this field? You as the law firm know exactly what they're seeing and can help guide them through the payment form if they need some help. One of the payment features that I mentioned is pay later. So this is our client credit solution, which is a lending solution available through law pay. What this means is let's say, for example, your client needs to pay $5,000 for your services and doesn't have the means on a card or in their bank account to pay that fee to you. They can apply for client credit. And what's really great about this as the law firm is you get 100% of those funds up front. Meanwhile, your client, if they accept the loan, are making installment payments over time on that loan. So as the attorney, you're kind of left out of it. But again, you get paid easily and conveniently. And this can help secure maybe another client that you may not have had without the client credit feature. Okay, so we've just seen how you can electronically send a payment link to your client, but let's say you send out any paper invoices in the mail or have a sign at your front desk for a client to pay. You can utilize this QR code, and this is best suited for paper documents, but again, makes it easy for your client to pay, and they are taken to that same payment link that we were just looking at together. So you would copy and paste that onto your paper invoice? Yes, exactly. You can right click and copy this image, put it in a Word document or PDF, and then print it and send it to your client. And the last thing that I wanna point out about the charge tab is that firms can have multiple deposit accounts in law pay. So this firm, for example, has an operating account and a trust account where they can take payments. Can you have multiple trust accounts in LawPay? Yes, we can also support that. The next section in LawPay that I'll be talking about is the Card Vault. Card Vault is a way that a firm can securely store client card or bank account information on file until it's time to charge. So with the Card Vault, you'll see we have some example clients here now. And a firm can put information into the vault one of two ways. One is through the add new card button. So add new card allows a firm to manually enter card or e-check information. You'll see here you are able to add client bank account information if they prefer to pay via e-check. And a theme we've been going off today is the ability for a firm to get some of that time back in their day. So we also have the ability to request a card from a client. Using the request card feature, a firm can actually request information from their client in a very secure manner. This feature would send a request to the client where they fill in their card or bank account information and it's sent back to the firm securely. So again, gives the firm some of the time back in their day. All right, and here we have some example cards in the vault. We have our client Jane Doe. We can see that their card information on file ends in 4242. And you also see this charge button on the right hand side. So as soon as it's time for Jane to make that payment, we already have their information on file. We can see with our other example, Valerie, that we have requested their card information, but they haven't yet filled out the form and gotten it in the vault. Rachel, uh, protection of personal privacy information like that is so critical. So how does how is the information in Cardvelt protected from inappropriate access from people within a firm, say? Yeah, really great question. So there's kind of two aspects to that. Number one, within law pay, we have the ability to have multiple users within a firm access law pay with their own set of login credentials. What's really great about that access is it can be restricted. So if you have a staff member who only needs to do certain functions in law pay, you can restrict their user access so they don't necessarily have keys to the car, so to speak. 
The other aspect of that would be for PCI compliance. So as a payment provider, we have level one PCI compliance, which is the highest level and means all of the information is encrypted and secured when it's processed or stored in law pay. Okay, so the next feature I'm gonna talk about is scheduled payments. Scheduled payments are a way to set up automated recurring payments for a firm's clients. So again, giving the firm time back in their day so they can just set these payments up and get paid. So here you'll see some example scheduled payments that we have. It's pretty typical. We see the monthly scheduled payments used, but I do want to mention that we have the ability for one-time payments, yearly payments, whatever might work for the firm. So if you want more info on scheduled payments, just let us know. We can do a deep dive with you on that. And in this screen, I'm in the details of setting up a new scheduled payment. And I just wanted to call out those variations and different cadences that I was describing on how a firm can set up a scheduled payment for a client. All right, so this next section that we're looking at is quick bills. Quick bills are a way to send an electronic request for payment to a client. The screen we're looking at here is a history of all quick bills that have been sent, and you are also able to see the status of any quick bills. Now to actually send a quick bill and get a bill on this list, you just use the send quick bill button in the upper right hand corner. And this is where a staff member could fill out the client's information, put in the payment amount, select if it needs to go to operating or to trust add an attachment if needed, and then once all of this information is filled out, they'll be able to send that quick bill to the client. And after a quick bill has been sent, like I mentioned, it's gonna appear directly on this list where the firm can see a status of if their client has viewed that quick bill or best of all, has paid that quick bill. And that's a quick highlight of our quick bills feature. Do you have any questions on this section? Rachel, I just want to ask, because I know that a lot of lawyers use LawPay as an integration with a third-party application, say a practice management platform, perhaps. Uh, and if I'm doing my billing out of that third-party application, how is it reflected within LawPay? Yeah, that's a really great question. So if a firm uses a practice management system that integrates with LawPay, they're still able to see those relevant transactions in the transactions tab on the left hand side. And here is that transactions tab. So if a firm did use a practice management program on the far right hand side under payment source is where they could see the name of that software that they use, indicating that that software sent the payment to us and was processed through LawPay. Next, we're going to go ahead and talk about our transactions tab. So the transactions tab is a history of all payment activity in law pay. So here we can see some examples of clients who have made payments to this firm. Now, as you were just asking about regarding any practice management system and understanding if the payment happened in that system, then it will be sent over to law pay. In the transactions tab, we have a column called payment source. This tells us where the payment originated. So if the payment was made through one of our many integration partners, the payment source would have the title of that software here. So the law firm can keep really good records of where these payments are coming from. What's also great about the transactions tab and keeping records is that if a firm has multiple users who log into LawPay and process payments, this screen helps a lot with knowing who processed what payment. So for example, our $1,000 payment from our client Sarah Smith earlier, we can see that Rachel Sabotic, our staff member, was logged in at the time of payment, and we know that from that payment source here. So if you've got a lot of moving parts and multiple people processing payments, this payment source column can be really great for record keeping and kind of keeping your ducks in a row. So here I've clicked into an individual transaction and I want to call out a few specific features from this page. Number one is that the firm can always see a payment receipt here. And if they worked with their client in person and at the time of payment, the client said, no, I don't need a receipt, I'm good. And later 
called back that next day and said, actually, I think I do need a receipt. No worries. The firm can log in here, see the receipt, and then use the resend receipt button where they can then enter their client's email and go ahead and send them a receipt copy. We have some other options here on the right hand side. If you need to cancel that payment or issue a refund to a client, it's very easy to do so with the click of a button. And what I also want to point out is the ability to recharge a card. So let's say our client Sarah Smith came back in a couple months and said, hey, I used my same Visa card just last month. Can you just use that same Visa card I paid with last time? I, I don't have my wallet on me today. Um, maybe it's something like that. The firm can easily click recharge and then enter the amount for payment. So let's say they needed to charge Sarah Smith another $500. They don't even have to get the card information again because it is secured and encrypted within LawPay, and they can just go ahead and submit that charge. So the next section I'm going to talk about is reports. So the report section really helps with reconciliation and, like I mentioned earlier, kind of keeping your ducks in a row and knowing what's happening with your LawPay transactions. So while there are a few reports directly in LawPay, the monthly deposit report is probably one of my favorite reports to show people. And the reason is, is it helps a lot with bank reconciliation. So when a firm takes payments in LawPay, they will be deposited to the bank account as a lump sum. So when the firm is doing bank reconciliation, they might be wondering, hey, I received this payment for $5,000 which clients does this consist of? Because I got the deposit from LawPay, but I need to know which clients were in that deposit. This is where the monthly deposit report can come in handy. Here's an example of what the monthly deposit report might look like for a firm. And I do want to call out that here we have that total amount that was deposited by LawPay. But as soon as we click on that line item, we can see exactly the clients that make up that deposit. Um, and if you're like me and do not like math, this report will be your best friend. No lawyers like math. And in addition to that monthly deposit report that I just showed y'all, um, there are some other reports that can help the firm export the data to Excel and manipulate that information if they're a more data-driven firm. Um, but like I said, that monthly deposit report is my favorite report to show people and helps save the firm the most time. You mentioned reconciliation. You don't actually do the reconciliation within law pay. You would, you would do that separately, but that helps you with the reconciliation. Is that right? Yes, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for sitting down with me today. The last thing I want to leave people with is that um, we have some of the best customer service in the industry. When you reach out to LawPay for help, you don't have to deal with a phone tree. You don't have to wait on hold for 20 minutes for someone to pick up and help you. So um, if you have a LawPay account or if you're interested in signing up for LawPay, just reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help and answer any questions that you might have. Well, Rachel, thanks so much. Uh, you are a real professional and that was very informative. Uh, we learned a lot about how law pay works. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks so much. That's it for this episode of How It Works. You can find the full series at lawnext.com. We're also on YouTube. You can just search for How It Works on YouTube. This is Bobby Ambrogi. Thanks for watching. <laughs>